Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk about attic insulation. What I'm doing here is fixing the insulation that I moved. We actually had an electrical problem where some outlets and a light went dead and I had no idea why. So I thought it was a mouse chewing through wires in the attic so I moved all the insulation out of the way to, to check everything. I just wanted to make sure there wasn't a mouse up there and luckily there wasn't but this left me this big mess to clean up. So first I'm replacing all the insulation that I moved. You can see there's two different types of insulation here. There's the yellow stuff, and then there's the pink stuff. The yellow insulation is called faced, so it has a paper facing on the bottom, which is like a paper um, vapor barrier. And that always faces down, and that stops air movement from the bedrooms below up into the attic space. So those pieces you put between the rafters. And then the pink stuff, that's the new stuff, and that's unfaced because you don't want to sandwich any insulation between two vapor barriers. It'll cause moisture problems. So the old stuff here, um, I don't know what R value it had when it was first installed, but at this point I wouldn't give it more than an R10. It's very old. It's full of dust. It's compacted, so it's really not doing much. I'm just leaving it there because it has the vapor barrier on it. And to buy new insulation with the vapor barrier is actually really expensive. The new stuff that I'm putting on top of it, the pink stuff, that has an R30 I believe. So combined it's giving me an R40, which is pretty good for the, the region that I live in. So as you can see here, I have to get into some uncomfortable positions trying to get this stuff back into place, <laughs> laying down on top of it. And it may look like I'm just laying on top of it, but I am supporting myself on the rafters. Now I'm putting the pink stuff back over it. As you can see here, I'm, I'm laying it perpendicular to the existing insulation. And this is important. This is the way you're supposed to do it and I'm not shoving it all the way back in the corner because my roof has a ridge vent so I need to allow air movement from the soffit up to the ridge vent. But putting the insulation on there perpendicular does two things. One, it just gives you better coverage and two, it distributes the weight of the new stuff so you're not compacting the old stuff down further which is just going to lower the amount of R value that you get from it. Here I am just moving all of the old stuff back into place and then soon I will be installing some new stuff. Now the area I'm working on right now, that's my, my stepson's room. And typically the way you would do this is just run the rolls of insulation straight across the attic. But I've been doing this in, in sections to save, not to save money, but just you know to make it more cost effective because it's easier to just buy a few rolls at a time rather than trying to do the entire attic all at once so now here I'm moving on to my son's room and this room it took about five of these rolls and they're about 25 or 30 dollars a piece so you're looking at like hundred and fifty dollars for a small room and the way that I like to cut these is with tin snips which a little bit later in the video I'll give you a closer look at how I do that but I like to do it that way because I don't have to carry a bunch of other tools around the normal way of cutting this stuff I would need to have like a piece of plywood to put it on top of and then a 2x4 and then a utility knife but I found that with the tin snips it's just a lot easier because when it's rolled up like that, it's already compressed enough that it's relatively easy to cut with the, the tin snips. <clears throat> 
So here's the second roll. Well, the last roll. It was the second roll that I did that day. And as you can see, it's compressed very nicely there where it's all rolled up. So it makes it really easy to cut it with the tin snip. So I just kind of marked out, you know, I grabbed it where I needed to cut it and I used the tin snips. So like I said before, um, it took about $150 to do my son's room. And that's a small room, but it, it made a huge difference immediately with the comfort of his room. So if you think about, you know, like over time spending 150 bucks here, 150 bucks there, you know, you'd go up there, roll out some rolls. Before you know it, the whole attic's done, and it doesn't feel like you took a big hit to your wallet. So that's the way I've been doing it. It's been working out really good. I'm only about another $150 away from having my attic completely done. So I hope you found this video helpful. And uh, the, the next video I do will definitely be grabbing the shower. I'm not sure when I'll have that done now. I was trying to do one video a week, but that just got to be too much. I'm back in school now. I'm going back to college to get a degree. And, um, you know, just all the normal busyness of having a family. It's just really hard to do a video every week, so I'm not sure how often the videos will come out, but the next few weeks, the next one will definitely be me finishing the, at least the grouting. Hopefully the shower, the shower and the whole bathroom will be done, but I'll at least have the grouting done. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. I hate doing this. <laughs> um, their websites aren't working. I'm trying to upload the picture. Yeah. Uh, it's frozen. It won't go anything. Here's my, my Irish sign.